Okay, so Hans is nice enough to show us his system that he has here. He's got a really advanced system for doing water changes, and he's told me all about it. I've never actually seen him do it, so he's going to demonstrate how he does a water change here in his fish house. So take it away, Mr. Hans. Okay, the first thing is that John uh, kept me so busy, he was going to be here only for a half an hour to <laughs> shoot a fast movie. But, you know, a lot of people think that I am a guy sitting in an office, answering the phone, uh, sending emails, but I actually have to work too. So he took up so much time for me. I have to do some water changes over here, and we keep, we'll show you in a short things how we do the water change. Okay, let me first explain a little bit the filter situation over here. Every block over here is one setup. All the setups are separated. This setup of all those things is one separated setup. We've got a filter system beneath here and it's more or less only foam. The foam is a little bit lift off the bottom and I will explain to you later why that is. But what we do, uh, the water is coming from two sides from the two filters to the pump. The pump in the middle over here is a swimming pump, pool pump. Pumps the water up into the tanks. We can arrange all the amount of water that's coming in the tanks because every tank has its own valve. So we can adjust more or less the water in every tank. The water comes in the tank, goes to the strainers, goes down to the pipe, through my filter foam, back to the pump, and in the tanks again. That's how it's circulating all the time. Now, if I have to do a water change, and we base the water change more or less, if the pH goes a little bit down in the tank, we do a water change. That is approximately every other day, sometimes every day. The pH goes down, by the amount of fish in the tanks and by the amount of food that we put in. So viscous is feeding and doing water changes. Okay, the water change, what we do over here is I will show you, I have to go up the step now to the top of the system. We've got two valves on top over here. One is closed and one is going to the tank. So the pump pumps the water now to the tanks. We're gonna change that. I'm gonna open this valve close the one to the tanks and what happens now is that the same pump that puts the water in the tanks is now pumping the water from my filter system to the drain. This takes a little bit so we cut it off here and we come back in a little okay. bit. Bye. And now gotcha. the whole filter system is drained so that it's empty now. The water stops here under the strainer so by now you understand that we don't do the water changes on the tanks itself. We do the water stage on the whole system, on the filter system. Okay, this filter system is drained now. And as you can see, it's almost empty. As good as all the water is out of the system now. So what we're gonna do now is go to the back of the filter system. We have to walk all the way to the other side. <laughs> we will follow John, you. John is following me like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are here on the back of the same system. What I do is open those two valves to get the fresh water in. Then we have to go to the storage tanks. And John is walking backwards now. It's going to be funny <laughs> if I'm getting out of focus now, then he's probably laying somewhere. <laughs> I, I made it. <laughs> Okay, those are my storage tanks. There's only a part of the storage. We've got more storage tanks on the other side. Uh, what's happening over here is we filled those tanks up yesterday with fresh tap water. We only use straight tap water, Baltimore water over here. Those tanks are filled up with just tap water. What I use is Chloramax as my dechlorinator. So I put yesterday, filled up the tanks with tap water, put the dechlorinator in, and let it run overnight. There's a pump in the middle over here. Those tanks are connected. This pump is circulating the water in those four storage tanks. Now all what I have to do is the same as on the top of the system. I open one valve and I close this one. So now instead of circulating, it pumps the water up to the back of the system where we were just a few seconds ago. I'm not walking backwards anymore. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, 
can see now over here, the fresh water from the storage tanks is coming into the system again. So that we are thing filling up a lot of water. We are filling up now. It's coming in with about 4,000 gallon an hour. Whew. Now we go to the front of the system again. If you look, you can take a look at the system now. Okay, you see the, the drain pump is still going, so it's not going through the tanks. It's still draining it. And you can see that a lot of dirt in the system is going out now. We let it go for a few minutes to make sure that all the dirt is out. The point with the system is that the filter foam is not resting on the bottom of the system. You can see those pipes. The filter foam is laying on top of those pipes. That means that there is a space between the bottom and the foam. At the moment when we fill up the system on the back again, we are flushing the system now. By doing this, by every water change, this system can run for the next 25 years without even touching the foam. Wow. We never ever clean the foam because that is what we're doing more or less now with every water change. And I can see now that most of the dirt is now pushed out of the system. So what I have to do now is go on top again. I first shut off the pump now so it's not draining anymore. And go back on top. Open the valve to the tanks. Close the one to the drain. And while this system is filling up again, what takes a little bit while, of course, we go to the next system. And we do the same thing. Open the valve to the drain. Close the one to the tanks. So now, we are draining this system. Well, this one is draining, this one is filling. John and I are going to drink a beer and we come back to you later. <laughs> okay, the <laughs> joke about the beer, we don't drink alcohol over here, we just had a coke. So, uh, the filter system is filled up now again, so what we do, we change the valves already, I plug it back in again, and the pump is pumping the water now back to the system. Okay, I'm standing here now. And John is not going to be fast enough because I have to shut down the pump now that's filling up the system, otherwise we're going to have too much water in the system. So I'm running away now to close <laughs> that valve. Come back to you. <laughs> We're going to see if we can follow you. Woo! <laughs> ah, you made it? I made it. <laughs> okay, I closed the valves over here so it's not putting any more water in my filter system because I think we got enough over here, but I have to check on that. And Hans has a customer now, so... Okay, you can see that the pump is running now again, and you see the water coming back out of the stray bars. So the tanks are filling up, floating over again to the strainer, and it's filtering again, and we get the water change. So that was everything about our water changes. It's as easy as that. And I'm, I have to add, he does have a siphon that he uses to pick up debris and stuff like that from the bottom. But uh, to do a water change that big on this many tanks that fast, that's impressive. Hans, I can't thank you enough for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome, John. <laughs> now out of here, I've got some words. I understand. Goodbye. See you later.